There's three things you're going to need to draw blood from another person. A blood bag kit, an IV starter kit, and a syringe. At the time of this video, the syringe might not be required. It's used for checking the blood type of an individual, thus making sure you don't give the wrong blood type to another person. But so far it looks like blood types are not factored in. Nevertheless, it's not a bad idea to get in the habit of figuring out the required blood type. For the syringe, click and drag it into your hotbar. Then close your inventory. Select the syringe in your hotbar, and if no one is around, you can collect your own blood sample. Otherwise, get close to your victim and choose the collect sample option with your middle mouse button. You'll collect the blood, and the syringe will fill with the user's blood which you can later check for the blood type. To use a blood bag, move the blood bag kit into your hotbar. Get close to your patient, and with the blood bag selected in your hotbar, choose the collect blood option with your middle mouse button. While your character is collecting blood, your patient cannot move. If they do, it'll stop the process and you'll need to start over again. Once the blood collection is complete, open up your inventory menu again. Click and drag your IV starter kit onto the full blood bag and choose the create option to create a blood bag IV. With the IV bag created, click and drag the bag onto your hotbar and then close out of your inventory. Choose the blood bag from your hotbar and then get close to your patient and choose the give blood transfusion option to give blood to your patient. As a final note, Staying hydrated in Daisy is extremely important. A saline bag is almost just as important as a blood bag, and is a great way to hydrate someone. The process for combining an IV start kit with a saline bag and then giving it to someone is the same process as with a blood bag.